Dr. Justin from Any Spine Chiropractic Center. Today we're talking to you about rolled ankles and how to approach them differently ah. than you have in the past. And we're going to peel away the misconceptions of what to do the next time you have a rolled ankle. And also, probably don't eat this banana. All right, so you rolled your ankle. What are you going to do next? These are some simple things that you can do for pretty much any injury, not just your ankle. With your ankle, there are three different grades of sprains, and they range from small little tears in the ligaments to a complete rupture. So a complete rupture is clearly going to take a different toll than this. Um, so I ask you to go to your chiropractor, your medical doctor, physical therapist, and orthopedic to have them examine your leg, your ankle, and to make sure that they get you on the right care plan. Um, so the simple things that most of us do is resting it. So you just throw your leg up, let it rest. So what that does is let the tissues heal. You're not putting any stress or strain in that area. Next thing, ice pack. Great idea within the first 48 hours, 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off. Do that a couple times and it will get rid of some of that inflammation and all the damage that has happened down there. Compression. You need an ace bandage or something like that and you want to wrap the area. If you don't know how to do that, I'm sure there's a bunch of YouTube videos out there, kind of like this one, that you can uh, look at and wrap your ankle up. But just don't make it too tight because if you make it too tight, then you might have a different problem. You might compromise the blood flow to your little toes. You might lose all the little piggies that are trying to go to the market. Um, elevation. So wherever your injury is, you want that elevated above your heart so that the blood flow goes back into your heart. So if you injure your ankle, good idea. Get the ice pack out, throw it on your ankle, elevate it up on some pillows, and you're good to go. So the one thing that not many of us do if they roll their ankle, ankles is to go to see the chiropractor. And we're going to talk about that right now. So you're wondering what chiropractic can do for you when you roll your ankle or you sprain your ankle. You see all these bones right here? There's seven right here in this foot part alone, excluding all your toes. So what attaches to these bones? You're saying to yourself, I think muscle attaches to bones because when I eat a chicken wing, there's muscles there, right? Correct. And that weird stuff when you eat the chicken wing, all the ligaments, they attach down here too. Also, there's blood vessels and nerves down here. So when you think about it, when you roll your ankle, a lot of stuff is thrown into places that it's not supposed to be. So the most common way to roll our ankle is to roll it inwards like that. So when we invert our ankle like that, all these muscles get strained. You can see them on my chicken legs. So the pronius longus and brevis are the ones that we're talking about. You can look them up if you want. Yes, we're still talking Latin. So they come from the outside of your leg over here and run all the way down. One of them attaches right here on the bottom of your pinky and the other one wraps underneath to attach right here on the bottom of your big toe and one of these little bones underneath. So what happens when we roll that ankle and all those muscles get strained like that? A lot of times the case is a one, if not more than one of these bones gets dislodged or put out of place too. So a subluxation is when the bone just gets moved just a little bit and it compromises the joint complex. The bones won't move in the proper way. And like I said, all of these things are getting stretched and strained. So what a chiropractor will do, they're gonna go to your ankle, they're gonna move some of the bones to see what's moving, what's not moving, and they're gonna adjust the bones that aren't moving. So when we adjust the bones that aren't moving, what that allows to happen is it puts the bone back in place so that the ligaments are already set up to reestablish their connection. The muscles are now allowed to go back to their original resting state so that the resting, the icing, the compression, and the elevation can all happen at a better rate. So we're actually going to go show you an ankle adjustment here in one second. Oh wait, did you want to see this on a person? Because I mean dogs have ankles too, so if you see your dog limping around, bring him to a chiropractor as well. All right, so here's our patient. He rolled his ankle, his left ankle, the other day. So we're gonna go ahead and motion all the bones and talk about what we're doing. His feet aren't that smelly, so don't worry about it. And 
there's some motion that's a lot better in there. I'm gonna motion some of the other bones in his foot. That's good. So like I said, it's important to get this adjusted right away so you can put everything back in the right place to reduce some of that inflammation. And that is a quick ankle adjustment for you guys. See how you can dance with this feet.